Hi, dear students. This is Bhavna Kapoor, and I am here yet with another topic to you people for class seventh uh, and eighth. So today's topic is going to be the notice writing. So let's quickly start with the same. So when we talk about notice, especially in school days, we are supposed to write notice for the school notice board. The notice can be related to, uh, you know, topics like, you know, a trip or an excursion to some place. That's the most common topic. Or it is about, you know, organizing any competition. Or it is about, uh, you know, lost and found. But that is something called basic level. So today we are going to cover either trip or competition. Okay, so for all of them, what is a must is what I am trying to teach you here. So for a notice, uh, the most important part is that notice must be written in a box. Okay, so that's the most important thing. So you'll be rewarded, I guess, half a mark for that in case you draw a box. If you won't, of course, that could be a penalty. So in the first line of the box, you are supposed to write your school's name. So here I am going to make uh, a notice draft for you. So that needs to be in center school's name. Okay. And then you have to leave one line after the school's name. Okay. Um, after that, you can write the date here, okay? And date needs to be written in the format like 17th February, and then whichever year it is. Kindly do not write the word date when you are actually writing your notice, only write the uh, format of the date, okay? That's how data are supposed to be written. And then uh, you can leave another line. Okay, so this is a line that you need to leave. In this line, after this line, you can write the word, after date rather, you have to write the word notice. That needs to be in capital. And again, in the next line, after notice, that is here, you can write the heading. Always remember, heading needs to be uh, like first letter capital and then you can use the small letters and that really need not to be a very big heading. So maximum, uh, say three to four words need to be there. Okay, not more than that. So that's how you will assimilate your heading. And then we will, write about our main topic so in our main topic majority of time what we are supposed to cover is our wh family that is for wh family member what is uh, going to happen okay where is it going to happen when is it going to happen whom to contact okay and this entire wh family members need to be get covered in uh, you know 50 to 60 word or as uh, uh, instructed by your uh, school authorities so that is a maximum word count of a uh, notice if you notice that all the whs that is four w's are being covered then it is a perfect uh, notice otherwise you really need to check for that what is missing so in the beginning part you can address by saying uh, all the students are here by this is a new way i am experiment this time experimenting this time so here you are all the students are here by informed that the school is organizing so this is about trip organizing organizing sorry a trip uh two day that is better because
because the entire information should be given otherwise the people would come how many days is it so you would just first clarify two day three day five day week long okay a two day trip to say uh, shimla for and now who is the audience for whom we are organizing this trip so this is also very important what is organizing and for whom okay so for these students for all these students you can also add here all the students of class classes 8 sorry 6 to 8 are here by inform that the school is organizing a two day trip to shimla from from uh, you can mention the date uh, like from 13th march to 15th march 2020 so here you have mentioned the detail what is going to happen where is it going to happen and when is it going to happen this is the uh, details related to the trip but now again you have to also add the details regarding um, you know how to submit the fees till when you are submit to fees and where you have to submit the fees also you have to write about that so initially you can write uh, from 13 march to 15 march 2020 uh, the students are required to report in the school at 6 pm as the bus will depart from the school at 7 pm interested students may contact the respective no some people write respected so it's different respective means each teacher of each class okay so interested student may contact their respective uh, class teacher and deposit the fee that is 1800 within by say 8 march including sorry so you can write like for more information contact your class teacher now in case um, you know uh, still you have uh, an option of increasing the word limit because your school has advised you for uh, for that like you are supposed to write 60 or 70 word then you can write other details including the food and lodging the hotel name all the things can be shared in the notice itself but if it is very compact we really need to be very very uh, clear that when is it how much is the amount when are we supposed to depart what is it who is it meant for then i, I guess this is the, and i believe that this is the right way to address the population and then you can write uh, the person who is writing this uh, notice so you can write the name like akhil head secretary abc school right mr akhil and then we can put sd that is the signatures for the same so this is all for the notice uh, for any question you can contact me on uh, my email id that's info@skillwise center.com thank you so much